known as a hummingbird because I move very quickly at hummingbird speed because they do move fast and are um, very competitive. I grew up in the most beautiful place in Southern Connecticut on a property that's about 30 acres or so. It's just something that catches you, the wonder of it. And that passion is there and um, happiest times are being outside and being in nature still. I was ahead of my time because when I first started my career, it was 1983, a long time ago, chemicals were still what everybody was doing. And so to think about looking at things that are produced by microbes was really very, very innovative. Synthetic chemicals are chemicals that are made synthetically, which means that they're assembled from different chemicals, whereas biologicals are actually found from nature. They're very biodegradable. They're generally non-toxic to honeybees, lady beetles and fish, birds, and they work. My legacy, which I'm very proud of, is that I was really changing how the perception of these products are to create a whole industry that is now uh, mainstream and growing very fast. Being an entrepreneur, I really like developing products that fit a need and can help the customer. If you understand your market and know that there's an unmet need and that you're solving some big problems, that's what really creates a business and, and keeps you going. It's a, a rare founder to have taken a company public. Having patents is very critical in everything I've done in order to protect from some competitor coming in and imitating or stealing um, our intellectual property. It is the foundation for really innovation and entrepreneurship. The more the entrepreneurs that are successful, the more that innovation ecosystem grows, the more investment comes in, the more customers we can help, and the more our planet can be helped as well. It really gives me great pleasure to see those products really helping. There's a lot we still don't know about the natural world, including microorganisms. That's what keeps me going every day, and I have a tremendous amount of hummingbird energy. I, I have to do something with that.